Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to be playing set in the top lane with the new pool party set skin. And I'm going to be using the mathematically correct set build. Uh, credit to Ross Boomstocks. Man, I just watched that video and it was it was super good and super well put together. Um, I'm going to go try out that build. So basically, uh, in the build, in short, basically Ross went over um, something that one of his, uh, I think... I think it's one of his fans. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Um, well, somebody sent him. Uh, I think it's the guy that made the mathematically correct Pantheon build. Um, also made a set setup where basically um, going over everything in Set's kit, uh, we're going to be maximizing the damage that we're going to be getting from Set's W. Uh, going from uh, uh, going from HP, uh, his AD ratio uh, with the W. And even the lack of resistances. So if you notice in this, I don't have bone plating. Uh, I did not take armor even, even against a Renekton. I took health per level. And I'm going to be maxing W this game, not maxing Q. And then I'm going to be maxing E after. So we're going to be maximizing the W damage overall that we can do uh, with the setup. So essentially, um, there are two things to consider. One... Um, grit is accrued, so my W, is going to be accrued from the post-mitigation damage uh, that I receive. So basically, building resistances equals you building less grit. I, uh, I accidentally pressed my W instead of E, first so that was kind of bad. I meant to E first. So, basically, uh, building resistance is bad in terms of your grit accumulation. You'll accumulate lower. Instead, you should use gold on buying HP items. And for the damage on, um, like, what you're going to do with the grit, you need to build a little bit of AD. So, you need a little bit of combination of HP and AD. So, basically, uh, no tabbies, even versus Renekton. Because, remember, it's post-mitigation damage. Uh, I need to make sure I don't get bursted. He's got full fury. Uh, Renekton does break my shield, which is a tad bit annoying. And I think Renekton can be considered like a soft counter to set, just because he does break the shields with uh, Empowered W. So if I'm going to be going on him with uh, with a full-on W, I need to make sure that he's not uh, stacked up all the way full with his Fury. So, first time I'm going to be going is actually going into Gore Drinker, um, which basically just think of all the really great bruise items that don't involve Ninja Tabby and Bramble Vest. Even though Ninja Tabby and Bramble Vest are really strong in their own regard, um, for sets, basically it's going to mean that you're going to be dealing less damage with your W because you're not going to be accumulating crit fast enough. Oh. Well, you know what? My set got, or my Yi got him. <laughs> uh, you know what? Setting up a Master Yi for success? I'm gonna say worth. Uh, let me just go ahead and grab one plate. I think Renekton still has his uh, TP, so. I'll grab that one minion. I'll back up. So, right here, instead of building Tabbies, which is usually a pretty good item for reducing damage uh, against Renekton, uh, we're just gonna be building into Gore Drinker. So, let's think of. Um, uh, I think I'm gonna get whip, or not whip, uh, phage. I'm gonna skip the whip for now, even though this will deal uh, some more damage. I want the HP, so I'm not getting bursted by Renekton, and I'll grab boots. I'm just gonna go ahead and TP now. I don't want to miss on any minions. I kind of want to contest him for level six and see if I can fight him. Oh my gosh, that damage I just dealt with my W is kind of sick. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, let me get level 6 and now I'm going to flash him with my ulti. Uh, but then, I think he was like, Bush King, maybe he was waiting for his W or something. 
I'm gonna show there. And then he like turned tail when he saw I hit level six. Yeah, so for my boots, instead of going Tabby, so I'm going to be going instead, I'm just going to be going the CDR boots, aka the Ionian boots of Lucidity. Uh, since our damage is going to be mostly dealt with our W, uh, I'm going to be using my E into my W most of the time. So I'm going to max W first, and then I'm going to max my E, uh, just so I can get as much CC as possible. Shut down. Mm -hmm. He's not walking up. If he walks up, I'll uh, I'll try to full combo him. So, remember, every time I'm going to be using my W, it's going to be in conjunction with my E, just so he doesn't uh, break it beforehand. Also, if you use your E into W, also uh, pretty much guarantees they hit the true damage. So, one thing I noticed, like, I made a video, I think, uh, about a year ago when Set first came out. Like, not even out yet on the live server. He was on the PvE still. And I went, I think, a 7,200 HP build with, uh, with Stoneplate, which, at that point, it doubled, um... At that point, it was, uh, doubling HP, so I had, like, basically 15,000 HP. And I think I was doing, like, a 1,000 true damage. But with this build, like with the full build, you're going to be dealing 1,600 true damage. So it's almost like a 50% increase uh, in true damage overall. And we're still going to be insanely tanky. Uh, because we're going to go Gore Trinker and then we're going to go Sterex Gage. Which, in this new season compared to last season of the set, gives us like really good tanky stats. Just because it has really good health ratios with the shield uh, and with the healing. That's really nice. Let's see, I got my uh, my whip. I'll whip this Renekton in the shape. Okay. I think I'm just gonna shove in. Maybe we can roam on the gangplank or something. Yeah, the one thing I hate about set sometimes is like when you pull minions together and you're trying to target that one minion, like that minion there was behind the cannon. I was like, really unfortunate. Mm, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down onto the cane. Renekton's coming down. I'm kind of down to fight. My Yi is actually pretty fed. So, in this position, my wave is actually pushing back towards me. Uh, so, if Renekton roams to try to follow up on me, he's actually going to be missing on minions because it's pushing towards me, which means uh, my minions are going to be dying faster than his. And then I can always make it back in time, right? I'm mean, against Kane, so I don't know how good that ward's going to go. Okay. Nice ult, dude. His uh, his ultis are nonsensical. Okay, that's 363 true damage. So basically, just uh, got the damage right, done right back to him. Killing spree. Boom, baby. So I was going to use my W at the beginning just to uh, hit him with a little bit of poke. But since he committed into me, I was able to just all in him. And since I have the burst damage with my uh, with my ulti, I know I could go in. Okay, Kane's here. I'm going to ping my Narn back. Man, the Nar mid is actually beating up the Gangplank mid. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna go back. I don't think I can take that last plate in the turret yet. So, let's go ahead and uh, let's grab our Gore Drinker. And then we can grab Lucidity Boots. So if you notice already, like, our W cooldown is actually pretty ridiculous. So, let's grab Lucidity Boots. And we'll head up. So again, no tabbies because we're trying to build at le the least amount of resistance possible. That way we can build up our grit as fast as possible. And if you notice, like, anytime Renekton's trading into us, our grit just, like, you know, skyrockets. You know, straight up. Uh, I don't have TP yet. Oh, wow. Wait, did the uh, Rift Rock just kill? You know what? I'm just going to get first blood turn. I could have probably TP'd and maybe saved Ezreal. But you know what? Yeah, let me just take this first blood turn. Don't mind if I do. That's like... A TP just for one kill is typically not worth. So, like, unless Renekton's getting that Fire Dragon first team afterward, like, he's losing on so much, like, potential gold up here to me that now I'm now getting. And so, in the 1v1, I'm going to be doing way better. Wow, look at that healing I got too. Just from the Triumph, the Grass, the Gore Drinker. Alright, that's actually pretty nice. And so you see how I'm just like rotating through my abilities really quickly. And I'm able to get multiple W's off in a fight. Now, they did a nerf on Seth's W, I think, within like one patch of his launch. But with this kind of build, just focusing on like the ability haste and uh, getting his W cooldown low, you can actually turn a lot of fights. So, got demolished. I'm just going to back up. Don't want to die. Uh, we're just going to build items towards our stacks. So again, we're building AD and HP basically only and ability haste so we can rotate through our ability. And we're going to be dealing tons and tons of uh, true damage. I still have TP. If, oh, man, if he dropped a war, I his oracles. Okay, looks like we've got both dragons. We're doing pretty good. I don't know why I just witnessed. I don't think I want to ask. <laughs> Do I? You know, sometimes things happen on the PB that you just don't question. <laughs> Your team has destroyed I think he really wanted to get to his next camp. This wave is kind of nice. Alright, um, he walked down. The yeah, set skin is actually pretty cool. I like it. An enemy has been slain. The dragon of bones. Okay. Mm, let's just go down. Alright, uh, I can just get mid turret. I don't think anyone can really stop me. Oh, that wave clear, baby. That's 332 true damage. That's just a little bit of grit. Alright, we got Starks. I'm gonna TP up top. Okay. Get him! Boom, baby! <laughs> you know, I probably didn't have to ulti, but you know what? My ulti's only 68 seconds. Okay, now I got my decision. All 
Okay. I was thinking she was gonna walk up, but she just walked to the wall to flash. Thanks, that's so fun. I haven't been playing them recently, um, climb up my account, but you know what? Wait, what? What just happened to Gangplank? It's like I pulled him and he dubbed at the same time. And he just got like stuck in the wall or something. Come on, man. Trying to take my red. Yeah, we're pretty fed. Too bad. I like the 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 Emacs too, uh, just for the ability haste to join us. You know, I'm gonna let you think about that one, Renekton. <laughs> he said, just do it. <laughs> he, he missed his flash and then missed his E over the wall. Oh no. <laughs> Those bad men. Okay, so next time we're gonna build towards is Black Cleaver. Uh, let's see if we can run down. So, remember, 68 seconds are ulti. It's actually pretty nice. You know what? My presence is not needed. I have Gore Drinker soon. If I can cut out from an X shield, maybe? Uh, Master Yi's coming. Oh, the Renekton is like kind of creep walking him. <laughs> oh my gosh, you actually got out of that one. Okay, good. All right, let's get Cleaver. It's gonna give me more ability haste and it's gonna give me more AD and more HP. Uh, he should be able to solo that. Man, we're actually getting so much HP back from our freaking Triumph. It's OP. All right, so next item is going to be Titanic Hydra. Uh, again, since we're building so much HP, uh, Titanic Hydra at this point in the build is going to give us so much AD from the bonus HP that we're getting already. So, I mean, we're, we're 3,600 HP, literally 19 minutes. Uh, we're basically Cho'Gath. Um, but in a kind of, like, brawly man... Uh, Set you know set skin, uh, except we're in like Hawaii or something. Looks like I brought my fist to the knife. Okay, uh, walk up. I feel bad for the knives. I don't know if I can. I'm just gonna push him away. There's no way that Nara can set him up for me. the grit I get. Can I pull him over this wall? Maybe if they're at the very edge? <laughs> oh, that'd be cool if I could auto through the wall. I should have core drinkered. Oh, I could have saved Nar. That was bad. I see you, Ezreal. Dang, dude. Oh, he got his mirror mana spike with the Essence Retriever. That build's broken, too. I wonder what a mathematically uh, built Ezreal build would be. We gotta, we gotta ask uh, Ross's buddy. See what that would be all about. Okay. I'm gonna be back up. Uh, I can grab my Titanic soon. It'll help me with uh, Wave Blur. Not that I really need it. I mean, I clear pretty fast. 
But we can sell D Blade for T Mark. You know, he probably shouldn't have been pushing, so that's on him. Uh, we can also do Baron basically anytime, too. Let's walk up. Alright, we're not gonna not dumb enough to push. Uh, although the yes, uh, Zyra is. Oh, it's a Zyra ADC. Oh, I see. We do it the other way around. Okay. Okay, at least that messy flash kind of made sense. Combo Manar. And Mashi cleans up. I should see this. Uh, Astro will hold bottom. Alright, for my last item, I think I'm just gonna build a Warmonks. Gives me 800 HP. So I think with full. Yeah, I think with uh, my full grit W with full max build, I think it's 1600. But even right now, I'm getting 461 true damage. With like what 20% grip. So right now my max is a thousand three hundred ninety-four uh, true damage, based on what I'm reading on here. Thirteen nine. Wait, why is it changing? Am I? Am I oh, it's. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I don't. Oh, it's because I'm gaining AD when I'm lower HP. Got it. I forgot Gore Drinker does that. Uh, Gore Drinker is actually kind of ridiculous when you think about it. Because even without that 1% extra attack damage, you would stall, uh, still probably build Gore Drinker. It still probably be pretty good, right? It's just got added stats in there for no reason. I've almost got my Titanic. In fact, I'm going to push mid out. And then I can TP for this um, Mountain Soul with the Tank to Tank Cutter. I'll save you, Nar. Boom! Wait, that's 1,300 damage. Wait, I wasn't full grit. I wasn't even full grit. Oh, there we go. Dang. That's such a big shield, too. So, who knew, like, actually building no resistance actually is going to be making me tankier. Just because I'm going to be getting, like, more shield from my W. This build really is 5 head. Okay, now we're gonna have a mountain soul on top, which I mean, kind of sucks gives more resistances, but you know, is what it is. Mm. So right now, I'm at uh, 1750 damage. So if I get to like literally one percent HP. And I have all the extra AD. And I get like a full Warmongs. I can actually do 2,000 true damage per target that I do the true damage to. So technically, I can do 10,000 true damage with the full build on this. If, of course, I like, I eat all five of them and they all line up together for true damage in like most awful situations. But still, that's kind of ridiculous for a basic ability. Oh yeah, by the way, I just casually have um, 4,500 HP and 365 AD. Yeah. I'm just gonna walk up and pretend I'm gonna hit this barrel, but I actually don't care about this barrel damage. Wait, I can't, I couldn't even see the AOE on that one. That was weird. That must be a PB bug. <laughs> I 
Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> you know, I think I would have had to set up my W on all of them to live there. But look, so with my Warmogs, 5,100 HP, 426 AD, that would be 2,350 true damage. Potential. Uh, no. <laughs> I think, uh, do we have an ocean? Yeah, we have an ocean dragon. I think the ocean dragon proc actually saved him from the end. Go, end it. I think they got this. I kind of want to see what my damage is at the end of this. What do you guys think the damage charts are going to look like? Uh, okay. You know, I could get like a Wrath Potion too. Wait. These are plants. They're OP. Okay, let's end it. Yeah, I'll be chasing them. Okay. Alright, let's take a look at the damage charts. If the stats would ever load. One second. Stats? One time? Here we go. Advanced details. There we go. So I did 36,000 damage. And I did 9,470 true damage to champions. I could have actually doubled this with one W if possible. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And guys, do me a favor and take one day out of your week this week. And go get yourself a haircut. You know, go get yourself something nice to eat. Do something for yourself. I appreciate all of you watching from uh, watching me. And uh, also, I do stream twitch.tv slash I'll see you there as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Everyone have a wonderful day.